the issue with feedback and deep learning comes primarily about the nature of what deep is, and that's relating ideas. As opposed to giving the student more of that surface level knowledge of here's the knowledge, here's how you get more knowledge, here's how you learn, you need to construct your feedback more in terms of how do those things relate? Going to that notion of what are the similarities and differences between these two ideas? Can you start to build a higher level generalization? Can you start to see how those things relate to each other? And those are the kind of feedback questions that helps the student get out of that first level of surface and start move to that process and that self-regulation. And you certainly want at those, that deep level to see those relationships. In many ways, the nature of feedback, three questions, the three levels, doesn't change surface to deep. It's just the emphasis and the orientation about who's doing it. But certainly you do want to, at time, you do want at the deep level to get students to see the relationships between ideas. The difference between feedback at the surface and the deep level is one is oriented more about the content at the surface level. It's giving the students the right information, uh, allowing them to not have too much and not have too little so that they can actually start to memorize, they can start to learn, they can start to overlearn things, they can see. The, the deep level, the feedback should be more about the relationships. How do these two things relate together? What is the big idea here? What's the generalization? How do you get from here to there? In many ways, the nature of feedback's not that different. The purpose is slightly different, but the nature of it's not that different. All the time, if you can maximize feedback about where to next, you're doing a great favor to your students.